Hey, what's up, you guys? I have not been doing a whole lot of fishing this year. I apologize for that. <laughs> um, given the circumstances with the coronavirus and all this rioting and whatnot in the bigger cities, um, obviously my priorities have been elsewhere. I've been spending a lot of time with my family, and as a pastor, I've been trying to just focus a lot of my time and energy on the people in my church and my community. So hopefully you guys understand that. But I am going fishing today. I'm about to hit the water right now on my home turf. Gonna be going for some big southern Wisconsin bass. But I'm really excited today because I'm going fishing with a friend of mine named Jeff Schutz. He owns JMS Lure Company. He makes musky lures, topwater lures. They're pretty sick. He makes some really cool stuff. I'll try to put a link at the end of this video in the description. Um, but honestly, you guys, I could probably count on my hand, on one hand, how many times I've gone fishing this year. That's just the way it's gone. So any fishing I can do at this point, I get pretty excited about. I'm not fishing a full day. I'm not even fishing a half day, to be honest. I'm just gonna sneak in a couple hours this morning and then I have a lunch appointment and then I have uh, another appointment this evening. But I said, dude, I'll meet you at the water early. Let's cast for a couple hours. Let's try to catch some toads. And uh, I'm just excited. I haven't fished with Jeff in over a year. And uh, this is the first time I'll be fishing with him on my hometown lake. And he used to fish this lake. He used to be a tournament angler, bass fishing tournament angler. And uh, so he knows this lake pretty well himself, but he hasn't been here in like a decade. So I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping we can get into him. Uh, the weather's not great, but this time of year should be a decent topwater bite. And we should be able to run into some bass shallow. Hopefully we can get a few five pounders. That'd be pretty awesome. So stay tuned. Let's get after it. It could have been a, uh, but you know what though? You know what I have not seen yet? I haven't seen a single, I haven't seen a single bluegill yet. So I don't know. There could be little, there's, there's. Because there's so many bass in here, the bluegill are just like, screw that. I'm telling you, dude. Yeah, it's funny. I haven't seen one. That's crazy. I didn't even, just till I said that, I didn't really think about it. This is where I hooked the biggest smallie I've ever hooked in my life. Just an absolute toad on an 11 inch jerk bait. Yeah, yep, I lost it, sat down in the grass up here for about 10 minutes, almost ready to cry, because I knew it was seven plus pounds. And then 10 minutes later, picked up my rod, same, same jerk bait, caught my eight pound largemouth. But can you imagine? Can you imagine in that same day catching an eight and a seven plus smallie? Like, pfft, what is that even? Like crazy. Yeah, you can, so you can hang, kind of keep us, just so we can get to the wall. Keep us off, because they are skittish. It's a, it gets shallows up in there really quick and it's clear. Yeah, and it's, it's, I mean, the whole lake's clear, but but you can get us in a little closer. But yeah, as long as, as, long as we can get to that wall, they hang out all up in here, dude. Especially, that pier, the second and third rung, that's where I got my eight and two sevens on that pier. But the, the nine plus I saw was under this one. That thing was just gargantuan. Nope. Maybe, I can't tell yet. Yep, it is. Where the heck is it, dude? Oh, it's a good one. Yep. Yeah, let's get the net, dude. It's a good one. Ready? Here he is. Get him. Good net, dude. 
told you. Yeah, she'll go 18, but it's still a nice start. It's a good start. Yeah, she's 18. Oh, it's close though. I'm saying it's short. 16, uh, I give you. A... I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna say like three quarters. 16 and three quarters. I'm gonna say 17 and three quarters. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, do it that way. I'm gonna say 17 and three. Oh, it's so close, oh, dude. 17 and a half. Nice. Yep. It's all right. Not a bad one. It's a good start. Just under 18, probably two and a half pounds. That's a little lean. Probably two and a half. But fish from my good buddy Jeff. At least we're on the board. Three, at least three. Really should add four, but. All right. At least we're on the board. Yeah, it's it's just crap, dude. Well, some of these weeds are coming in out here. That's good. Gosh, there's carp out here too. So stupid, dude. Yeah, so take us in. I mean, you don't gotta go too far, just so you can hit that wall. Yeah. But we can we can throw a few casts in here. This is a good spot. There we go. That one feels that one feels a little better. That one's better. You ready? Not much. No, it's not. It's just hooked. It's hooked under the chin. He sounded good. No, he's just hooked under the chin. I got him. Yep. He's hooked in the bottom. So he, he sounded good, but it's because of the way he's hooked. Just another little guy. It's good though. At least I know how we're gonna get him today. Another short one, you guys. That one's like 15, 16. Yep, and there, there you can see it's like all that never gets weeds. It's like a little sand, rocky gravel patch up there. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they, they don't, they used to be able to see them. Like if you were here, you'd see three or four just sit on that gravel. And I don't know why, but they just don't park up there like they used to. Gosh, there's a giant carp. You're so gross, dude. That one's, dude, that thing's 25 pounds easy. Holy crap. You big stupid thing. There we go. That one feels decent. Maybe not. Yeah, that one feels good, bro. Let's see. I can't tell yet. Nope. It's well, it's not bad, but it's not. He's oh, he's not bad. He's gonna be close. He's gonna be close. Yeah. He's a little tubber. Here, bring me this way. Nope. My bad. You got my line. Ready? He's close. He'll go. That's bigger than you. It is. Bro. It's a tubby mother. <laughs> Don't even need to put him in on the board, but I would anyway. You know what's funny? He's almost exactly the same length. He's just fatter. He's actually a little, he's like an eighth of an inch shorter. Yeah, he's a chunky monkey. All right. Well, there's, there's two for now. I knew there'd be one right there, dude. Knew it. Yeah, that's a good cast. Got him. Good one. Get me in there. He's gonna get me around this pier. Shoot. Shoot. Back it up. Yep, yep. As much as quickly as you can. Oh gosh, come out from around there. I don't know. He ran with it. He picked it up and he ran with it. Watch out for the pontoon here. He might not be as big as I thought. He wrapped me up right away. He felt good. You're doing good. Oh gosh, he's trying to get me wrapped up here bad. Oh, he did it. Bro, that was a good one. I just about had it back there. That was a good one, dude. Oh, I just said it too. Unless they get you wrapped up on something. Right. That no, one. No sooner left your mouth. Ah. It's so funny. I was literally just saying, I never get broken off unless it's wrapped around something. <laughs> that was like five minutes, dude. Totally I did. It sucks. It's been a long time since I've done that, too. But that's the second one, though. Today. Well, that first one I got snagged, but still basically the same thing. So dumb. 
there's I guarantee you there's at least one or two under that pier you're fishing right now. Guarantee it. I'll give you a shot and then I'm gonna throw under there. Oh that better have been nothing. It was a fish. <laughs> Little guy. Did you hear me? That better have been nothing. Little guy. Yeah, that was on the football. Yes, I have. They look cool. Thanks again though, dude. I really appreciate it. No this is a blast. I'm having fun. This is actually easier to do. I mean, I, I like I said, I way rather musky fish, but little short trips are, you know, it's because oh, yeah. I live so close. My wife doesn't care so much about this stuff. No, it's the same thing, you know, as the girlfriend's back at home with two 10 year olds and a dog. So if I'm like, I'm gonna be gone all day, she's like, all right. But if I'm like, I'll be back by one, she's like, okay. Yeah. For my wife, if I'm back before five, she's like, she loves me. Yeah. Can't believe I lost that pike, but I'm kind of glad I did, but. It's just weird. You don't lose them too often, unless they're jumping boat side. There's a fish. Told you I was gonna get something. The glider. <laughs> it's a pike. It's a little one. Maybe not. Maybe a bass. Yep. Nope, it's a pike. Oh no, it is a bass. Look at that, see? Look at that. Hilarious. Little guy hitting it. Told you I'd get something on it though. It's a little size of snack for him though. What kind of lighter is that? Phantom, dude. Is that like an orange? Yep. They love this bait, dude. Dang, I can't get it though. He's hooked pretty good. There we go. Look at that, you guys. Little, what is that, a 14 if that? Chunky little 14. Hitting the four inch glider. I told you I'd get something. It's just getting started, man. They're gonna be blowing, the big girls are gonna be blowing this up another week or two. They can't resist the gliders. My number one glider used to be a Manta, a regular size Manta. Yeah. Gosh, I used to catch big ones on that. Five pounders, five plus pounders. The thing that sucks about those is the hooking percentage. That's why I started going to these smaller ones because the hooking percentages on my musky stuff just weren't great. I get a lot of fish to hit and I'd hook them a little bit, but the hooks were just a little too big, you know? Can we stand up or do it like this? Yeah, I like this. Good. All right, so which one's up here? This one. All right, so drop him. Your phone's right there. I'm gonna say three and a half, three and three quarters maybe. Three and three quarters for sure. I'm guessing. All right guys, caught a, quite a few, a lot of small 17, 16, 17 inches. Lost two or three bigger than this one, but uh, this is a decent one. We're gonna see, I don't think it's quite four. I think it's gonna be like three and a half, three and three quarters maybe. And we're gonna let her go. Three and three, three quarters. Three and three quarter. Three and three quarter, you were right. Close to four. Nice fish, not a big one, but a nice one. All right. Thanks, buddy. Get bigger. Catch you when you're five plus. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. We didn't exactly put the hurt on them, but we did all right. We did all right. We got a couple of them. Not, a, not the best conditions. The clouds just rolled in. We have to stop now. I got an appointment I had to get to. He's gonna fish a little longer, but terrible conditions. Clear skies, no wind, really hot. But we caught, I don't know, probably double digit fish. Yeah. Got a couple nice ones. I lost a couple bigger ones, but can't complain. First time out together this year, I had a blast. Until next time. Appreciate it, brother. See you guys on the next one. Peace.